Hi, so welcome to another episode of Abby Thoughts. And we are still in the coronavirus, although it is easing off. Uh, the government has actually eased off some of the restrictions, as we found out uh, this week. And yeah, there is a couple of the restrictions they've eased off on, which I'm going to talk about. But the first story I noticed this week was actually um, the bride and groom who were arrested after going through with their wedding during the lockdown. So this happened in South Africa, KwaZulu-Natal, if you know your South African regions. And um, yeah, this bride and groom, married couple, ended up spending their first night as husband and wife in police cells after going ahead with their wedding despite the lockdown. So governments... The government in South Africa are sort of issuing fines and arresting people if they breach the regulation laws. So all 50 guests and the pastor were arrested after a tip-off that the marriage was happening. And this is because there is a ban on public gatherings. So um, you can see in this photo, you've got the groom helping his new wife into a police van. And that's how they kick-started their married life. Um, I just thought the story was kind of funny because you have 50 people who turned up for this wedding. So already I feel like very blessed. Um, this is like ride or die friends, literally, because turning up during a pandemic to a wedding, getting more than three guests, like I think if you'd got two people to come to your Corona wedding, and they probably were going to be related to you in some way. So to get 50 people to show up for you, that's that's love. That's like you've got a good circle of people around you. Um, not sure about the pastor. This is it. There's so many irresponsible pastors during this corona lockdown. Um, like the attitude is so YOLO. I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, my past has been quite responsible. Like, church has been shut. People haven't been congregating. Although they have started, like, a uh, like a food collection thing. But even that's been sort of managed with, with, with at least 20 metres be be between everybody. But these sort of churches where, you know, the past is still like, yes, we're going to meet and we're going to praise and we're still going to do our thing. It's just like, I admire your faith, but there is a line between faith and presumption um there's enough stories about that in the bible so i don't understand like you know yeah some of these pastors it's just like completely ignoring science completely ignoring government laws which again is another key thing in the bible where it's like do what your master says the government's there to help you you know do what the people in charge advise so it's kind of a bit odd that a lot of these pastors are just like two fingers up i'm taking everybody with me that's all just you know i'm pretty sure this is like classic cult behavior when the guy at the top's like we're all gonna drink the kool-aid and like forget everybody else so yeah, some of these pastors are really kind of, uh, I don't know, like, we should be investigating them, surely. I mean, churches are chaos. Like, there's kids, there's old people, there's breathing in, breathing out, sweat, dancing, you know, everybody's on everybody, like, shaking hands, you know, breath, everything. So, if things kind of re-peak, like, um, these sort of congregation religious centers i mean what are you going to do though people want to get their praise on so i thought zoom was kind of helping but you know i guess some people just need that i mean you do need it but yeah some of these pastors i just think are taking it too far and it's more of like a power trip than 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 maybe sort of heeding the best advice about what to do um, it does say that um, the guests and the, and the pastor and the, the couple were arrested after a tip-off that the marriage was happening. So somebody did snitch. Like somebody was like, I don't like this. I don't want to see this joy and happiness occurring near me. I need to let somebody know that this is happening. Uh, don't know what their reasons would have been for like, I guess just 
we don't want to spread the virus. Would you have tipped somebody off if you noticed a wedding was happening like three doors down from you? It's been interesting though. I have read a few articles of people who were like, oh, my my street was decided to have like a street party or like this family decided to have a big gathering and, you know, somebody tipped off the police and they came and they sort of made everybody break it up. Uh, so, so, you know, there are people who take it more seriously. I know for me, I've been quite serious about um, social distancing, even in the road, even in the queue at the supermarket. And it's annoyed me to see some people some mothers as well, like literally with her two kids, just sort of like walk like, like we're friends. I'm just like, I don't know you. Like, why are you this close to me? Especially with a young child. Like you, what, like, is it that, like, is, is it just too much for you that you're just kind of like, like throwing this kid at anybody who seems like they might be a carrier? It just seems crazy to me when people are just like still acting as if there isn't a, pandemic going on and like we're all just chilling together breathing in each other's oxygen it's like I don't need to be that close to you especially when there's literally signs being like observe a two meter space between each other but anyway so yeah so this bride and the groom arrested on their wedding day and I just think it's I mean how do you plan for a pandemic You've been planning your wedding for so long. And I think at the beginning of the year, this is probably the last thing she thought she was going to have to deal with. You know, can you imagine like having to Google like two days before the event, like getting married during a pandemic? It's just not something that you can plan for. So I do have a lot of sympathy for her for just trying to keep it together and just thinking, I just want my wedding. You know, like who, 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 who imagines that the worst thing that could happen on their wedding day is like a global killer virus. She's probably just thinking the caterer might be late. My mother-in-law might be, might say something unpleasant. Like, I just think that these are crazy circumstances and sometimes people wanting to be selfish and just have their little wedding or quite big wedding actually, 50 people is, is understandable. So they did end up in prison, but they are now man and wife. So I guess that's the silver lining. And then there's a woman who drove to the beach and she was shocked that other people did the same. So Jane Peacock and her family uh, went to the beach at uh, Dedal Door in Dorset. I do not know anything about that beach. And um, she was shocked that there were like 2,500 other people that turned up because obviously the government's now said that we can, we can go to parks and beaches again. Um, and so people have been taking advantage of that, especially with the good weather so she sort of turned up thinking oh there's only going to be like six of us who sort of understand that we can like ease off a little bit and really everybody was out in droves so <laughs> she wasn't happy her name is jane peacock <sighs> and um i i like that somebody said that Yes, the government has eased off on some restrictions, but if everybody rushes back into social places, it's just going to cause a peak again in cases. To, it's going to cause cases to rise again, and then we're going to be back in the same spot, and then we're going to all go back into quarantine. So we do still need to be careful and take it lightly and not go too crazy if we want to manage kind of trying to get things back to normal. But the main restrictions is that... We, there's no longer any limit to the amount of open air exercise or recreation you can do. You can drive any distance in England, so not Wales or Scotland, but you can drive any distance in England to parks or beaches. Uh, you can play golf and tennis again and basketball with one other person who is not part of your household. Um, if you can work from home, you should continue to do so, but you are allowed to go back to work and um, some non-essential retailers are going to be open from the 1st of June but those retailers will have to follow social distancing guidelines. So which non-essential retailers are you hoping are going to be open? For me it's really just Primark, like that's the only retailer that I would normally just try and like pop into anyway. Primark with social distancing, I can't even imagine how, what a, what a test of patience that will be. 
and how they'll manage that if they even attempt to. I'm sure they've got enough loot to keep them deciding that they don't really need to send everybody back. But then, you know, they might do. Will they be one of the retailers to reopen from the 1st of June? I guess we'll see. Um, but I think the main one is you can now meet one other person from outside your household as long as you stay more than two metres apart. Um, yeah, which I feel like people are probably doing anyway, but now it's official. You can find one other person to meet up with and that you're not going to get an odd fine or get into trouble or lose your job if they find out that you're meeting up with that person. So those are the two main things I noticed this week, very corona focused. Um, and this last thing is also very corona focused. Um, just the whole mask, mask fashion that's sort of happening. I think we all started off with like the surgical mask um, or whatever piece of cloth we could find lying around. There were some very inventive masks in the early days, but now you're sort of seeing like, they're even calling it the global fashion mask market. Like it's become a thing and it's all sort of styles. The designer masks have come out. You're getting some old school, like 1930s full on gas mask. Somebody dug out of their grandfather's, um, you know, cupboard or something like granddad wears that old mask he used to wear when they were being bombed by the Germans or whatever it was. And then you're getting some like new upgrades, you're getting the full balaclava mask as well. People are just getting very creative and you're getting these like pretty printed, um, pretty printed textile masks. very sort of geisha-like and like what's going on behind the eyes and what's going on behind the face so yeah I'm seeing a lot of like mask inventiveness I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be wearing one like that it's an option I keep just walking out without one and then I see about 30 people with one I'm like oh it's kind of okay to protect yourself like hmm so yeah, a lot of people doing um, inventive things with masks. A lot of black. Black seems to be the colour as always to looking fashionably acceptable while wearing a surgical mask in the street. I like the slogan ones as well. Anything with a slogan on about the coronavirus, anything inventive you can say about this virus um, is really cracking me up. I mean, obviously the really obvious one is if you can read this, you're too fucking close. Um, but um, my favourite so far is, uh, not to brag, but I was avoiding people before it was trendy. So, yeah, any good coronavirus slogans I'd love to see. There's got to be some funny ones out there. Um, this is definitely the season for antisocial people, for introverts, for people that were quite happy, were already doing weird, like already figuring themselves out alone in their bedrooms anyway. Um, this is the time. This is your season. So uh, make up some t-shirts and uh, sell some merch, basically, um, which you now have time to do because you are quarantined along with the rest of us. So that's all that's been happening for me this week. Corona has loomed large in my life this week. This is all the stories I have. And I am looking forward to next week where I think it's going to be a bit more exciting because people are a bit more like back back a bit more back into society now with the easing off so see you then <laughs>